Hello and welcome back to Expo Hub channel. In this lesson, we are going to learn what is DOM, what is DOM, Document Object Model, what is the practical usage of it, what it contains. You know, we need to practically see that. So this demo is all about it. So before that, we bring you a lot of content which you may not find it anywhere else. So please do subscribe for more such contents. Do subscribe and do like all the video that you are watching. So let's get started. What is the document object model? Okay, so document object model generally you must have got the definition already. There is a some there is something called document object model viewer. I am going to show you that where I can see the entire document object model what it contains, right? And this actually actually contains lot of details about your document, like language, what is the document name, content type, lot of these things contains. But there's no use of me explaining all of this until unless you see that practically so let's go back to the studio see that and get back and try to define all of this so let's go back to the studio before that please do subscribe in case you have not done it already so now you have seen in the document understanding i have explained you about all of these steps but one of the place where you did digitize the document there are two different output which comes one is the document text as the output the other one is the document object model as the output but did you ever see what it contains is there a way to see that what this variable contains and i'm pretty sure if you are a true learner you wanted to learn everything in detail isn't it so let's see let's have a look onto this so to to view this what i will do i will use a right line text okay and here the output is below digitize document i am using a right line text and here i am going to talk about document object model so here the variable which contains this one is dom now to get the data out of this you have to put a dot and select serialize so that we can get the output in the string format okay that's all and then i'll create a variable or a file name which will contain that so i'll simply say dom dot txt file which is going to contain it all right that's all you have to do so save it and start running it before running let me tell you i am using this for each loop and i'm passing it from a directory called sample.pdf if i go to that folder i have kept only one invoice at the moment and this is the previous flow which i have created i don't want to delete it so i have kept it as it is and you have already seen that invoice extraction so i am pretty sure you have already seen that so you have an understanding of what these are Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm using write text file and start running it. And I'm going to stop the project in between once the digitized step is complete. I'll try to stop it and try to see the output of DOM model. What is the output we need to know, right? What it contains. We need to see it practically. Generally, a true learner would like to get into all such details. So don't worry about that. So now what happened, if you go to the projects folder and try to refresh it, you can see that DOM text has been written. So after the digitized step, the DOM text has been written. So that's all we wanted for at the moment. So now let's open it. Now if you open it, there are a lot of things. It's very hard to understand. So control A and copy this entire text. Okay. Now go back and open something called DOM viewer. Okay and open any one of them and then here I am going to select this and paste the entire content the moment you paste that entire content from that output text file what happens here you will see it has formed a tree structure document object model is nothing but it's a tree structure of a document so what this thing is containing this document object model contains lot of details let me show you one by one okay so the very first thing that it contains is the document name so if i go back if i go back and see it contains something called document name okay if you go here you will see it contains the document name which is invoice has one dot pdf is that correct yes it is invoice has dot one so it contains the document name that should be very clear okay second thing it contains is content type what kind of a content it is so if you open this you will see something called content type equals to application has pdf so it's a pdf content 
getting it now next thing it also contains text length what is the total amount of text available in that particular document right this invoice how many uh, what is the length of the text generally when you type it tells you, you know what is the length of the text that you are typed so similar way it, it captures what is the length of text this particular pdf contains okay so let's go back and look at the live document object model so it contains 466 text okay it also talks about number of pages so here only the page index is zero zero means it only contains one page if there is another page let's say in your pdf document there are two or three pages then if you scroll down you will find the page index equals to one page index equals to two you will find because this is only one single single page pdf document so it is saying only zero so the first document is zero so that means the document object model understand how many pages are there okay now next is uh, information in each page language rotation so let me tell you what kind of a language is used so you will see language is equals to english right these are all attributes so language is equal to english so this also understand what language it is being used right then rotation has it been generally you process a lot of images so that will be rotated like you know 80 degree 90 degree while taking the picture so is rotation is none because it's simply native document pdf document so the rotation is none okay it also contains the if you see the position of the text right if you look at uh, ocr confidence score is 1.0 text is equal to expo hub so it's able to find out all the or it contains all the information inside that page okay all the information so you can see you know it is capturing the entire tree structure of the document what it contains which position what it is visual number visual line number table cell what so it contains all the information it's coordinates right which coordinate it is available that data in that uh, in that particular pdf so all the information this document object model contains so looking at this live demo you must now answer it right you know what is a document understanding model so document object understanding uh, the document object model is nothing but it contains all the in basic information of a document such as document name you don't have to remember anything you just saw it live and you remember i mean you will be able to understand so it contains the document name what is the exact name of that document what kind of a content is available is it a pdf document is it an image right what kind of a content uh, it contains then language then uh, text length how many text is available number of pages it contains so if you answer this three four questions also anybody who has asked you will be pretty clear so if he asks you is, it, is there a way is there a way for you to uh, see the document object model what it contains uh, from that variable so i have just shown you the demo using the right text file i can literally see what it contains right i can store into a text file and then i can literally see it if you even you can read it from here if it is uh, feasible for you but putting in in the online viewer generally it makes it quite easier because it brings up the tree structure the body contains all of this data so it brings up the tree structure which becomes much easier when it comes to multiple pages okay if one document contains so many pages 10 pages of the, let's say you are doing a contract that will have at least 10 pages 11 pages 3 pages whatever it is so document object model gives you that clear cut picture right so thank you so much so please do subscribe to our channel uh, do not miss that please do subscribe please give a like uh, join the expo family let us grow big thank you so much guys we'll come up with more such conceptual topics thank you for the moment we'll meet again bye bye